What's going on guys? Um, so in this video, basically all I'm just going over was just like the last one, um, showing you the males that will be breeding for me um, for this year, 2021. Uh, I don't have as many this year because um, I had to sell off a couple in order to get some other ones. And I, <clears throat> and I have a few um, growing out uh, that will be ready. There's going to be two more that are going to be ready so far. Um, for next year, so that's what my plan is. But the ones that I have this year are are probably some of my favorites. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. All right, guys. So this first one right here, um, this is Magma. Uh, so he, I actually only got him not too long ago. Um, he's the reason I had to sell off one of my other ones because I really wanted uh, one like this. So this boy, um, this will be his first year breeding. However, he is about, I think a little over two years old or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to him just because of his colors. You will see a couple that are kind of like him with the full back on it, but they're pretty hard to find. So that's why I'm really looking forward to him. I do have some really uh, nice females this year that would be paired with him. And um, I also have some nice females uh, that I'm planning to throw in the mix next year as well. Thing I really like about him is obviously his back. Um, it's super saturated with like a darker, um, like a darker red and it goes all the way down his tail. And also he has some lateral color as well. That I think if paired with the right female, um, I can get it to connect all the way down the side. So pretty much my goal with him is just to try to reproduce his back um, and try to create more guards that are just uh, fully covered down his back. Whenever he was um, a baby, though, his back actually didn't connect. Uh, you will see some guards that, that are born that way, that are born... Uh, with color over the the center dorsal stripe uh, but for him it was actually as he got older because you know how gargs you know as they get older th their color spreads um, and what happened with him is as he got older the color just kept spreading 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 where eventually it just connected um, across the middle of his back so the uh, thing with him if that's the case uh, chances are I'm probably going to have to hold on to, hold on a second, I'm going to try to position him right. I'm probably going to have to hold on to, um, like most of his babies just because, uh, it took him a little while for it to connect over the back, which means if the, it's the same with the kids, you know, that's going to happen as well. So, um, the hardest thing with him is just, you know, being patient with his kids um, and seeing how they develop before I actually end up releasing any. Um, you know, the patience is always the hardest thing with them. But but yeah, he actually will have a few females that he's going to be breeding to this year. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope uh, there's something cool that pops out. All right, guys, this next one right here. This is Rocky. Um, I've had him for a pretty long time now. Uh, basically, he's a, he fires down to a real light base, and he has a um, red and orange stripes down his back and uh, going down his tail. He's a really uh, well. He's most of the time really chill. Um, he has a great personality, and he is um, a good size as well. He's usually like around 60, 65 grams um, for his side. He doesn't have much color um, on his lateral, but it he does have some. Um, and he has produced some really nice stripes as well. Um, so his colors are definitely a little deceiving. Um, he's produced some really nice babies um, over the last few years for me. He was probably my one of my like probably in my first three uh, males that I've received probably in like my first five gargs I ever got so I've had him for a really long time I doubt I'll ever let him go um, just because he can produce some nice stripes 
Um, so it's nice to have him around, especially for some new genetics as well. Uh, he was produced by uh, someone that no longer breeds reptiles. Um, I believe their Instagram is Cold Blooded Connection. So uh, the breeder no longer has the gargs or anything like that. But as you can see, he's really cool. He's really chill. Um, I really love him. He always gets the job done when he's with his females, and he will have a um, a few females that he'll be breeding with this year as well. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely have some babies uh, available for, from him um, over the next few months. And guys, last but not least, this is Magnus. Um, he is here on a loan from Jeremy. Um, his Instagram is at sbsf underscore reptiles. Um, so he, this boy right here, uh, I actually have two of his siblings that I own. Um, he is from Johnny underscore Rax, who's an amazing guard breeder and uh, just reptile breeder all around. Um, but yeah, he's pretty much, it's hard because the lighting isn't the great, greatest um, right here. But he is pretty much neon orange. Um, and he has red just along the middle of his back. But all of this is pretty much neon orange. And I'm really, really excited to see what he's going to be able to produce this year. This will be his first year um, breeding. Uh, the thing I like about him is not only the shade of his color, uh, but he has a very wide back. Uh, as you saw in like the last video, uh, Rocky, uh, his stripes aren't, are, uh, aren't as spread out. They're more uh, thinner down the back, which in my opinion when they have wider backs like this it's a lot more desirable um in my opinion because there's just way more color to be spread out so that's something i do honestly look out for whenever i go and want to buy an animal as well me personally i like the wide back so i always look like uh how much distance there is between that center stripe to that little um the lateral stripe that kind of breaks up the uh lateral stripes and the back stripes I always like to look to see if it's pretty wide there. Um, that's something that I'm kind of picky about. So I'm really excited for this boy. He has some nice uh, color up on his face. Um, it's like these small details here that really is like, you know, this is what I'm trying to pay attention to uh, when I'm picking out what I want to breed. So he has some nice color along his lips, some speckling on there, um, on his cheeks. But also, he has it coming right around the side of his uh, horn right there, which is something that caught my eye. I really like the ones that will have a lot of color on their legs, you know, on their thighs, um, and uh, all the way down the tail along with that back color. And especially on his lateral, it's not as thick, but um, it kind of like... It's like a cloud like raining down pretty much because it's solid at the top of uh where's my finger okay it's solid at the top of the lateral and then it kind of like speckles down um he's really nice so he does have blotches as well in his genetics which you can kind of notice sometimes when a garg has a mix of it you will sometimes see like both traits uh in the animal where you'll see uh, stripes with blotches or vice versa so that's what i really like about him he has some color that bleeds over um into that little lateral breakup line which is another one of my goals is eventually one day not only to have a full back like magma but also uh for it to connect down the sides right there um and then the other thing i like about him is you'll see it sometimes in some other gargs there's a lot more like extreme head color but he does have some color uh right like on his uh head right in the middle of his crown stuff like that so i'm really excited about this boy um this like i said this will be his first year and he will be with cleopatra which is the other nice um red stripe that i have so yeah i'm i really enjoy this dude i can't wait to uh see what he's able to produce I have two of his brothers that will be breeding for me next year. But for this year, um, this one is on loan from Jeremy at SBF underscore reptile. So 
This, I gotta admit, is my most anticipated um, pairing right here with him and Cleopatra. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. I don't know what are the chances if I could produce more that look like him um, or Cleopatra. I'm not sure the chances of uh, one becoming available right away. But uh, if you want to check it out, check out the project and stay up to date. You know, you got takes time with this stuff. I'm talking like probably like six six months down the line is when you'll start seeing the babies and stuff from them. But if you want to stay up to date with it and see how they progress, um, then yeah, just make sure to make sure to follow me uh, on Instagram, especially for that. So so yeah, I can't wait to see what this uh, dude will actually do. See out in the light where you can see a lot of his orange coming coming through. Oh my gosh. So yeah, there you go. A lot of orange on him. When he's fired up, he has an orange base, so it even looks better. But but yeah, this is the one I'm most anticipating. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, those are all the male garks that will bre be breeding for me this year. There's only three of them. I'm a little low on it this year, but that's okay. Uh, because I'm going to be using that method that I had posted about before. So it works out three males, and I think that was eight females. Um, some of them will have obviously more uh, together than others. But that's what to expect this year for me. Uh, of course, there will be like other stuff pop up and... You know, things change throughout the year, but that's what the plans are so far and what the plans have been. Um, a lot of them are already producing and stuff together. But yeah, if you guys want to stay up to date with all that stuff, just make sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, I barely ever post on the Facebook, but you can reach me on there or shoot me an email if you have any questions or a DM if you want to talk about that stuff. But, but yeah, if you guys want to stay up to date with that and see how things are going and you know, obviously I will eventually sell some of the babies and stuff and you like what you saw. Uh, make sure to follow me, stay up to date. That will always get, the Instagram will always get the, uh, the updates first. Um, where anything's for sale or anything like that before they go on like Morph Market or anything like that. So, so again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, if you need anything, just feel free to reach out.